welcome back to Mother Rabbit's Kitchen. This is a new video for me. I am still trying to figure out what is going on with my YouTube channel life. We started this channel a few years ago with the intention of making it a cooking channel where I share recipes and also share how to cook with your kids and how to teach your kids how to cook. And as I continued and got kind of caught up in the I don't know, frustration or the obsession of growing your YouTube channel, I kind of just veered off a little bit and started trying to figure out what people want to see, what is going to get extra views, and what is going to help build this thing. And I would see other channels just grow and grow and grow, and honestly, a lot of them just seemed kind of boring to me, and I felt like, why aren't people watching my channel? I think it's pretty cool. And I don't know, it just becomes this weird obsession and I have gone in a couple of different directions with this channel and I'm still trying to figure out how I want to continue it, if I want to continue it. I do enjoy making them, but I am still trying to figure out if it's worth it because we have a pretty busy life right now. As you'll see on this Saturday, we have a lot going on and I will walk you through what we're doing, but I just kind of wanted to share that update of what's going on inside my head as I do these videos. I'm just going to be really honest. I am trying to figure out how to be authentic on these channels, not to share just the highlights and make it look like we have this sweet little life. Oh, look at me kissing my son. I'm such a good mom. And you know, of course I'm not going to in include the parts that are caught on camera that where I'm frustrated with the kids or I'm ugh, at my husband or you know there are a lot of things that go on that don't make it into the final edit as is the case with I'm sure pretty much all the videos that we see from those you know homemaker type of videos it's just of course we naturally are going to cut out the things that aren't pretty to watch on camera but at the same time I don't like the idea of just putting all these sweet little highlights that make life look just so perfect when it's just really not and we're all just trying to survive and do the very best we can while enjoying it and you know being grateful for what we have Anyway, that's where I am, and if you haven't met me yet, uh, my name is Colleen, and I like to ramble on about things for a, quite a while and not talk about what we're actually cooking here. So let's get to it. On this particular Saturday morning, we woke up around 6 o'clock. That my alarm clock pretty much every day, especially on the weekends, is my four-year-old son. There he is with no shirt. My four-year-old son named Camden. He has always been our alarm clock since he was born. Um, for a while it was steadily 5.30 a.m., which is actually what my real alarm clock is set to during the work week, but he likes to keep it consistent through the weekend and wake us up at 5.30 a.m., but sometimes he lets us go till 6, and today was 6 a.m., which was really nice, even though it's still dark out and feels like the middle of the night. We just kind of go with it, and then of course on Saturday mornings, Camden wakes up and the first thing he says to me is, what are we making for breakfast? So I try to make something fun, and by fun, I mean sweet and sugary and probably would classify more as a dessert than breakfast. But hey, you know, we gotta keep the kids happy on a Saturday morning, and you know, it keeps my husband and I happy as well. We like our sweet little breakfast time with a nice pot of tea. So today we are making jam bars, and I got this recipe from Recipe Tin Eats a couple of years ago. I think online it's called the easiest ever raspberry jam bars, and they really are so easy. And my I keep the recipe pretty much the same. The only thing I do is, uh, besides I'm um, adding a few eggshells, as you can see, is um, I add a little bit of cinnamon because that just makes it super yummy and warm and tasty. And then I here I'm doubling the recipe because why not? Um, and then what else do I do that's different? Oh, I add powdered sugar at the end, but that's not that special. And I feel like there's something else. Oh yeah, you don't have to just use raspberry jam. You can use any jam you want. And since I'm obsessed with jam, I have lots of different kinds on hand. And the two that I had open today were blueberry and strawberry. So we just mixed them together. And I think this was my favorite, favorite jam combination we've ever used. So I'm letting Andy spread out that 
jam and I am such a control freak in the kitchen. It's so bad. So this channel has been really good for me because um, it, <laughs> it uh, forces me to kind of keep my patience and let my kids do things that I would normally say, uh, I'll just handle this part, you know, like cracking the eggs and getting, oh my gosh, Camden broke an egg before and it just went everywhere. But you know, you, the more you, oh, I don't know what's so funny right here, but I, I will say that it's probably my husband because he cracks me up a lot and I get a few good belly laughs at least once a day with him. So anyway, what was I saying about those jam bars? They're really good. I highly recommend making them. I will link the recipe down below as they say on those YouTube channels. And I'm just putting away some dishes and just getting ready for our day. We have a dog and that is new for us. We got our dog for Christmas and if you haven't seen the videos where we surprise the kids on Christmas morning with the dog, you have to see them. It's so cute. We were in major Santa mode, just keeping that secret from the kids for really months. Like even before we knew what dog we were getting, we were planning on giving them a dog for the first time in having kids for 10 years and basically being asked for a decade when they can get a dog and the answer always being never um, <laughs> because I'm just trying to keep these four kids alive and you know clean up their poop and so it's been a lot and so making the decision to finally get them a dog was huge for our family and they were so so shocked okay Skylar right now is hitting the okay we're hitting the gritty right now because that's what people do on a Saturday morning right and then I I'm very proud of my husband for doing it on camera. He's so silly. a whiteboard on the side of my fridge. It's actually a gray board, but who, who cares? Uh, and I just keep a running to-do list on it. I feel very accomplished when I can just cross things off of my to-do list. And probably the most important thing on a to-do list, which isn't actually written down, but I try to get to it every day, is reading with my kids and the dog, apparently. And I have them pick out whatever books they want from their bookshelf, and they just bring them to me, and we read some stories together, and I do all the voices. the responsibility to tell you constantly what's really going on behind the camera and behind the editing process but while we're cuddling on the couch it's really sweet until they start elbowing and yelling at each other because you know they're in their each other's spaces and it goes from a really sweet family moment to kind of a crazy <laughs> <laughs> fight time but anyway um, yeah I was just outside picking up some dog poop because that's my new chore on a Saturday and pretty much every day and yeah the kids do it too and so does my husband but if I want to get it done quickly and uh, speaking of quickly gosh this is going so fast my kids were just playing a game which was also really cute until they, until they started fighting and now I am trying to check another thing off of my to-do list which is clean my pantry I have to do this every few weeks because for some reason I'm really bad at just maintaining a clean pantry I get groceries and I just kind of shove them in places because I'm probably in the middle of three different things and then I'm like oh I'll organize that later and then later turns into weeks and I can barely move in the pantry or find anything but look how good that looks in fast motion it looks like it only took a few seconds but it actually didn't but at least I got it done and as I'm recording this it's 24 hours later and it doesn't look like that anymore so I'm just checking that off on my, off my to-do list because I accomplished it it's time for a pot of tea so we can enjoy our jam bars together. I feel like as I'm voicing over, voice overing, whatever you call it, voicing over this video, it looks like it's taking forever to just get breakfast on the table, which is kind of the case because these jam bars in particular do have to cool pretty much completely before you slice into them. And they actually taste really good that way. Um, as I cut into these, they were still slightly warm because we were getting impatient. 
and so they were a tiny bit tricky to cut into but they still were oh so amazing and you'll see in a little bit that I actually have a little side hustle that um, unlike my YouTube channel I do make a little money off of this side hustle and it's a little neighborhood business that we have where my kids and I make treats together and we sell them in our neighborhood we call it the friendly farm stand and we started it this summer it was really cool we uh, planted some herbs we also planted some vegetables that didn't really work out but our herbs came out really good and we made lots of pestos and just lots of baked goods and chicken salads and all these fun things to sell and sometimes we'll just sit out on our corner and post in the neighborhood Facebook page and we'll sell some treats and our neighbors love them oh my gosh look how pretty those look had to get a good picture of those because I actually did end up selling some of these. So we'll either do like a big farm stand on a weekend and have, you know, lots of treats to choose from. We'll actually have a menu and everything and then people will come to our house and pick them up and purchase them. But you know what? That's a lot of work. So usually on a weekend, on a Saturday or sometimes a Sunday, whatever I'm making for my family for breakfast, I end up selling whatever's left over. And it makes us basically enough money to just you know, it covers, it makes our breakfast free and it covers, you know, an activity that we do during the day or we can say like, hey, that paid for dinner if we order pizza, which we will be doing later today. And anyway, we're, um, oh my gosh, this was so funny because they had me read a Bluey book and I was trying so hard to do the Australian accent and I thought I would be good at it, but uh, apparently I'm really, really bad. English, I can do Peppa Pig really, really well, um, but uh, Bluey, not so much. I have to work on it. So here I'm packaging up some of my leftovers. All I do is just take a picture, post it in the neighborhood. Well, I, I was going to say the neighborhood Facebook page, which I do, but I also have a friendly farm stand page where, um, because in the neighborhood Facebook page, I'm only allowed to post once on a Saturday. Oh gosh, I got to give the dog a bath. I actually kind of enjoy doing this. He comes out nice and fresh, but Anyway, so we sold the leftover, I, I, and we made 20 bucks um, making those jam bars, and we just deliver them. We do free delivery. The kids pile in the car, and they walk up to the houses and deliver them, and they earn bonus points. Their reward uh, chart, we call it bonus points, and we kind of added the Friendly Farm Stand profit as one of the ways they can earn bonus points, and they have like a little cash-in system where they can... I don't know, pick out ice cream or a toy from the store or some, you know, kids messenger time or even some video game time, even though I hate video games, but it is a good motivator for good behavior. I finally got dressed. I have to get better at getting dressed and ready in the mornings on the weekend. I don't know. I'm out the door dressed and ready by seven o'clock during the week. So on the weekends, I just kind of laze around in my pajamas and enjoy the, I don't know, slowness of the morning, even though, <laughs> as you can see, it's not that slow. But I finally got dressed because we have a lot to do today. I will start filling you in on our busy day. So Skylar was asked, Skylar is in fourth grade, but she was asked to be in the middle school musical this year, which was really, really cool. It was quite an honor. They needed a young person for the young version of the main character. So they asked her around Christmas time to jump in and be this character, and she did, and she did such an amazing job. So this weekend is full of performances. On Friday night, she had her first performance. It went beautifully. Uh, the whole family went, and then today, this day that I'm recording, is her two other performances, so an afternoon at 3 o'clock and then an evening at 7 o'clock. So I had to get her to her rehearsal time at one and you know we're just kind of finishing up tidying up the house and then our plan is to pack up her dinner that she's going to need and then also we're going to stop at the library uh, she needed to return uh, we both needed to return some books and pick out some new books and so that's where we're heading right now so we're going straight from the library to dropping her off at her rehearsal so yeah here i'm just packing while well, i'm making lunches for everybody because i had to feed her lunch first and then pack up her dinner taking out some bread from the freezer. That reminds me, I have to make more bread today. I always make two huge loaves when I make my sandwich bread. It's an oatmeal sandwich bread. I also have a video for that in my um, channel archive. So I'm just slicing up some bread and making the kids, I don't know, whatever they want, peanut butter and jelly. I also had some leftover pizza from when I made homemade pizza on Wednesday. So I think Camden and uh, Jaina ate the pizza. So 
making some lunch and then packing up Skylar's dinner. So on Thursday night, I went out to Publix and I got some nice boar's head ham because that's one of Skylar's favorite sandwiches and I rarely make it because it's really expensive. So since she had to eat dinner on the run on Friday and Saturday, just kind of packed up, um, I went out on Thursday night and got some ham and made her favorite ham sandwich with mayo and mustard as she always requests. So I'm packing that up for her in her lunch box, which is technically tonight a dinner box. And I'm gonna be sending that off with her when I drop her off. Ouch, the pizza came out really hot from the toaster oven. So we just kind of do a leftover slash peanut butter and jelly lunch on Saturdays. The dog thinks he's gonna get some, absolutely not. And then of course, gotta get some fruit in there. So I'm just cutting up some strawberries to pack for Skylar for the evening. And then of course Camden is going to want to eat a thousand strawberries. There he goes and got some for Dana too. Not for Andy because, oh, that's a whole other thing. He doesn't eat fruit. It's a whole other thing. Oh, did I just pack a bag of Doritos in there? Yes, I did because it's a special weekend and here we go. Traveling to the library. We love our local library. They helped me find some new memoirs to read and I'm just returning this one memoir called Educated by Tara Westover, which was one of the best memoirs I've ever read an incredible story. I highly recommend it. Skylar got a few new Ramona books, which she loves to read. And then I scored three new memoirs. One is the Helen Keller story of my life. The other one is Hello Molly by Molly Shannon. And then the other one, which is probably as big as a study Bible, is Andrew Lloyd Webber's memoir called Unmasked. of Salvation Army trying to get up the strength to go inside. I just dropped, well, I didn't just drop Skylar off. I dropped Skylar off like 20 minutes ago at her dress rehearsal for the final two performances of the play. And I decided I would do a little thrifting before going back to the school to see the shows. And I'm so tired that I'm almost thinking, what if I just, reclined and took a nap in the car in the parking lot of Salvation Army. <laughs> that wouldn't be a good look, would it? I Something bad would probably happen. Um, so I, I feel really sleepy right now. I could go for a good nap, but Mama's still on the go. So I'm going to check out Salvation Army. I'm kid free right now. So I'm going to have a little me time and uh, see what I can find and then go back to the show and see Skylar and go back home to take a little break in between the shows and then go back to another show and then it'll be, you know, 10 o'clock. So, day in the life. Here we go.
Thank you so much for hanging out with us on this busy but fun-filled family Saturday. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and comment. Would love to hear from you. See you next time, guys.